Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Juliana. So for today's video, what I wanted to show you guys is how I do my balayage. Um, I am a hairstylist, so this is the hairstylist edition. So if you see, my mannequin has a nice root shadow. Um, so she was previously colored. Um, and we'll be doing a partial balayage today. And I like to just show you guys, you know, how I kind of do my balayage and how I customize it. Um, and I, I change it up a little bit for everybody, but essentially this is one of my favorite techniques. So you're seeing her, uh, the side of this mannequin. What I did was just brush everything out. I did a straight down the center parting and right around the ear, if you see there's from the crown of the head all the way down to the ear, there's a diagonal forward. So that's what I did just to separate it. And then I wanted to show you guys the hairline. So what I like to do is um, like your traditional foiling. Um, right at the hairline just so that you know hair size call it like the money piece but you know your everyday client is is going to say that they just want some nice brightness around the hairline especially it helps give them that brightness that feel of nice and fresh highlights um, because of course the balayage is a little bit farther off of the root. So I'm just using something I had at home. So it's a flash lift by Redken with the 20 volume developer that goes with it. I have some foils, a foiling comb, and a couple clips. So what I did was I just parted everything out of the way and I took out that section of the hairline. And so I clipped it out because it's just easier to go with the way that the actual hairline is flowing. So I just took about an inch and a half section um, and it's easier to foil that way. So I took a really fine um, foil and I took a weave and I left a tiny bit right at the hairline and that's super, super important to me because I want that nice brightness right around the face. However, I like to leave a tiny bit of hair out closest to the client's face because it helps them with maintenance. And once their hair starts to grow in, it's just a lot easier if there's a tiny bit of their natural there to begin with. So um, I went in and just foiled all the way up to the root. I like to fold it twice and then um, that little lip is underneath it and so I just pull that up a little bit more and get it nice and close to the hairline. I wanted to just fold that out of the way. So you know mannequins are a little tricky but if you see the hairline has a nice curve to it and that's not unusual. You know most people's hairlines have curves and points and you know sharp edges so you need to kind of go accordingly and that's why I'm doing like smaller sections if you see because obviously I, with this foil I can take a bigger section but you want to make sure that you're going around the hairline in the you know smaller sections just to be able to get everything um, without over directing it too much so again really saturate it fold it twice and pull nice and tight up to the hairline and then I'll do the same thing in the front section. Again, super important to just leave some sections out. Now, okay, so I'm being a little technical and that's, I mean, that's just my nature. I, I'm a visual learner, so I like being able to do these videos for you guys. So yes, this is great for hairstylists, but it's also great for clients so that you know, you know, you see the final result. Oh, is this something that I like? Is this something that I want? So you'll be able to ask your stylist or, you know, just explain a little bit better. Cause a lot, I have so many clients that are like, I have no idea what I want. And they show me a photo, but it's good for you guys to be able to understand it as well. So I did the same thing on the other side of the hairline. If you see, it's just parted, same thing. Um, and I'm just showing you guys, I'm doing a diagonal back all the way up the hairline. So I took a small section there. It's about half inch. Um, and this is what's considered like a true balayage. So I'm just going in with my lightener 
and painting all the way up on just one side so that it has a nice um, gradient to it. And then I go on the underneath section there, um, all the way down, make sure it's nice and saturated. Now I'm one of those people, I just like to use foil um, just because it helps keep everything nice and clean and um, I can get the lightener to do what it has to do. So now with this section, so the first one I did in that whole piece, I lightened all of it. Now in this section, I took a weave. So like a big chunk essentially. And I just took two little sections within that section. Um, so, and that's what I do alternating all the way up. So one section, two sections, one section, two sections. And then I show you guys that once I get a little higher up on the head, I incorporate all of that. So hairline all the way down to the ear. And I like to split into two sections. The foils just, it's easier to work with it this way. So same thing. I go ahead and lighten at the top. I like to create little V's. It gives you what you see is those bright ribbons when you see photos of balayage. So, um, again, so just lightening it. And if you see with the lightener, there's a little bit of a V section. Um, so like I said, that's going to give you the really pretty ribbons. So I went all the way up alternating one sections, two sections, one section, two sections. All right. So I copied the same thing on the other side. And now when I get to the back, because I am doing a partial, I'm leaving that bottom section out. Um, so I'm just going to clip it out of the way. So if you see, I made a V. Okay. I really like to do that because I get a lot of beautiful depth. And you'll see how in just a moment. So I like to take that horizontally. Um, and then I'll go in and lighten. Um, same thing. A little V that I'm drawing. Painting, I guess. <laughs> and then I put the foil underneath and really make sure that the ends are nice and saturated. So super, super covered. Put another foil on top. Okay, so super important with this back section. We always see really nice dimension. So again, I created a V. So if you saw it was horizontal before and I created a V again. So I left those two sections out. Super important because that's what's gonna give you those dark depth pieces. Um, if you leave those out, the lighter pieces will appear even brighter. So leaving those out. I then do the same thing. I take a horizontal section and I lighten that. Um, so you just saw me do that. And now I'm just going up the head. Same thing. I created that little V and left those two ribbons of depth in there. So those are going to stay dark. I'm not lightening them. And then I went in with this section that you're seeing now, um, as a horizontal and just lightened all that up. Put the foil in. We're going to let her cook for a little while. I think I actually like let her sit out in the sun. It was a beautiful day. Um, while I was sitting out reading, I actually just left the mannequin out there too. So it was, it was a beautiful day. Um, and I think I let her sit for probably a little over an hour. It is a mannequin and I used 20 volumes. So I wanted to try to get it as light as possible. All right, so that's the final look, and I'm just putting in some products. This is the Unite Texturizer Spray, and spraying that into the hair. It was a windy day, but it, yeah. <laughs> so that's why the mannequin's looking a little crazy. This is the Unite Texturizer. It's the foaming, um, like the finishing foam. This stuff is really fun, I like it. So I put a tiny bit run it through the hair. This is what's going to give you that like nice, sexy, PC texture. And I hope you guys can actually see this color when I was, you know, right now as, as I was finishing editing and everything, the color looks a little different than the actual mannequin. And it's cause I was doing it under the gazebo outside. So it is a little shaded, but, um, a lot of beautiful warm tones and some cool tones mixed in. 
Oh, I just love the way it looked. So beautiful. You see those big thick ribbons of color and then a lot of that depth is still in there. And then what's good about the way that we blended it was that the root area is still nice and dark. And then if you see the hairline, she's got really soft blending all the way up to the root in some pieces. Oh, I die for this section back here. Look at those ribbons. I just love it so much. It's almost like a caramel in this tone, but yeah, it's gorgeous. And then that hairline. But yeah, thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know this is a little different, but hopefully you guys will know for the future um, what you can ask your stylist.